Hey, I'm Philip, and I work on the engineering team at Chroma. I'm going to walk through Chroma Cloud and share five things to know about it. Let's get started. One, if you've used Chroma, then you know how to use Chroma Cloud. Chroma is retrieval and memory for AI applications, powering vector search, full text search, and metadata search. Chroma Cloud works with your existing code, just change your connection string when initializing the clients. Two, effortless scaling to billions of collections. Chroma Cloud just works. You build your application and Chroma Cloud handles the rest. It's SOC 2 compliant and there are no knobs to tune or configurations to set. Three, billing is usage-based with no minimums. Chroma builds on four simple metrics, data written, stored, queried, and returned. Your new account gets $5 in free credits. That's enough for inserting about 100,000 documents and running 100,000 queries. To keep using Chroma after the trial, just add your credit card. We have team and enterprise plans available for companies with multiple users and many databases, including dedicated support. Four, collaborate on and explore your data in the dashboard. Invite coworkers to your team to give them access to the same databases. Create databases for different environments, like development versus production. You can even scope API keys to a database. Collections are a group of information you can search across. Run a full text or semantic search across a collection and click into a record to see its vector, metadata, and nearest neighbors. Five, as a best practice, many small collections are cheaper and faster. Most Chroma applications shard memory into separate collections for user or organization. Because of how vector search scales, this approach is faster, cheaper, and more accurate than filtering on a single shared collection. So that's Chroma Cloud. Try it out, and if you have any questions or feedback, submit it in the app or email us at support at trychroma.com.